Bird is known during his NBA career for having a remarkable ability to shoot the ball anywhere at any time. Mm -hmm. Yet he says that he was a better shooter before the NBA. Why? Yeah, he really was. He, um, he was playing uh, softball with his buddy Neil Heaton. He actually was filling in for his, his, his college buddy Neil Heaton. At this point, Larry is uh, done with school. He's doing his student teaching, um, doing driver's ed and some other things at a high school, local high school. So Neil Heaton asked him to come in and fill in for his softball team. So he said, sure. Well, he shows up, and who's on the other team but his brother? So Larry's playing out in the outfield, and his brother hits this kind of spinning, looping ball, almost like a Tim Wakefield knuckleball. It's just spinning all over the place. And Larry tries to go down and make a basket catch, and his finger goes all the way back. And he's like, man, wow, it really hurts. And he looked down, and his finger was completely dislocated and mangled. And, you know, he it really was bothering him. He had to stop playing right away. And his brother came over and, and almost vomited just looking at him. It was really, really bad. So, uh, you know, they took him to the emergency room. They, they strapped it up. They taped it up and whatever. And uh, Bird went out the next morning, went morel mushroom hunting, because it was hunting season, big deal down in Indiana to do the morel mushroom hunting. And by the time he came out of the woods late in the day, they said, where have you been? They're looking for you. You've shattered your knuckle. You need surgery right away. So now remember, he's been drafted by the Celtics during this point, but he has not signed a contract yet. So he's, his, his finger is in a bad way. He has to have major surgery with clips put in and pins and everything else. And he, he never tells the Celtics this has happened. But, you know, sooner or later they get word, and they summon him to Boston. And, um, and the trainer examines him and says, and the team doctor examines him, and they say to Red Auerbach, this guy's damaged goods. Now, Red's like, really? So he says, come on, Larry, get dressed. So Larry puts on his stuff. Red throws him the ball. He goes out. He starts shooting from all over the floor. He's hitting from everywhere. Throws him a few bounce passes. Has him throws a few overhead passes. And he said, you look fine to me, kid. And Bird said, great. But Bird to this day will tell you, he's never had the same feel for the basketball since he injured that finger. He said, I've never been able to feel the ball quite the same way again. So as great as he was in the NBA, pre-softball career, Larry Bird might have even been greater. Wow. You know, it's kind of unbelievable. Now, we know about his mangled finger, and we also know about his achy back during right. his career. Another injury that people probably assume is a result of a grueling NBA schedule, but that wasn't the case, was it? Well, you know, it's funny. Bird's um, very first back injury was actually caused shoveling gravel in his backyard. He had put in a new basketball court in his home, and he had asked his brother Eddie and some of his friends to spread the gravel around. Uh, there was a pool there, too. And uh, Eddie didn't do it. Eddie had a, you know, he was a young kid. He was lazy. He just didn't get to it. So Bird was so angry. He said, the heck with it. I'll do it myself. And while he was shoveling gravel, that's the first time he felt that, that extreme pain in his back. Now, I will tell you this. He had a congenital back problem. The canal that led through the, the nerves through his spine was too small. He was going to end up with those back problems anyway, but it was started in typical blue-collar, lunch-pail style, Larry Bird shoveling his own gravel. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu. Thank you.